welcome back to MGM Marketability's podcast. Really good to be here with you all this afternoon. You nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> good job. But, you know, I was thinking the other day because it's funny, um, even if you start noticing, like, in clothing trends, I'm starting to see people wearing their, like, this is so trendy. I was like... I was a very awkward sixth grader that <laughs> thought I was cool wearing that. And now it is. The yeah. fact that you remember what you, what you wore when you were in sixth grade. It says a lot about who I am, I, I guess. Why <laughs> do you have him tethered with his, have you seen his headphones? They're like wrapped around that cord. That's why he's not moving. <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay. There you got a little go. bit of, got you got a little, little space. that's okay. All right. You know, <laughs> this came up in conversation uh, with someone just this past weekend. I'm excited that I now have a chance to wear bell bottoms because I think I just missed that. I might've worn them when I was a child or cause yeah. if my mother made them or whatever, I would, I would wear them. Oh, that was a period too. When she was going to try to make our clothes. It's like, no. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I, you know, I love that we're wearing bell bottoms now, but you have to ask the question, are we out of ideas? Where are the designers? Why aren't we seeing new things? You know, that maybe the trend is to make old look new again. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's up. I, I I think a lot of it may tie back into your, even though you're, say, looking at bell bottoms, uh -huh. but what do you think of? You're going off emotions. So I have this memory, or this takes me back to, it's. it provides a sense of familiarity. It does. Yeah. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they're riding on now, the wave of... That yeah. familiarity, I don't well, know. Well, and I think, so maybe we need to think about it like this, is like the people who are maybe in charge of these companies now who are coming out with these clothes, whatever it is, they're almost forming their own type of nostalgia. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Now I mm -hmm. get it. Okay. Yeah. If, yeah. That, if that makes sense. You know, someone who's like maybe in charge of a company that does clothes and like 50, 60 years old. But they're like, oh, man, this was so cool whatever I was in style. Or, and they're mm -hmm. kind of in control now if they have a big enough company where whatever they put out, people are just going to wear it. I was kind of thinking it was the kids with the homage to mom and dad and, and you know, mm. paying that uh, paying that tribute, if you will. You yeah. know, they looked really cool in their photos, and we think we can do it just one, one step better. Mm -hmm. I don't and know. Maybe it's even the... The concepts behind it so say a brand like an h&m that is very big on uh the way that they reuse the materials and it's uh -huh. more on trend if you will with the uh, global warming and things like that so yeah. caring about the environment environmental friendly products and yeah. clothes huh so you take something old but make it new but yeah. i always kind of wonder what makes something a staple you know because you can have uh like, underwear uh, underwear Calvin socks <laughs> but like you, you know, know like a just a really socks. good looking just v-neck t-shirt oh the, the vt yeah and what makes that such a timeless piece oh well it's simple it is simplicity you know? i yeah. think and it's just become one of those things that you think you can't live without yeah even though I don't think I have any V-necks anymore. No, I was gonna say mm. V-neck. That's I, that's an interesting, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people like the the regular and the V-neck. They're like, oh, am I taking a risk? Yeah, and and, and how deep do you go with the V? <laughs> how deep do you go? Yeah. <laughs> and if well, you, coming and as it, someone that's a little snack sized, I love the V uh, because it makes me look taller. And, and, <laughs> there you go. If you I rip it, tip. it's not really that bad because it's just a deeper V. <laughs> and now you just started a new trend. See. Uh, you know what else is coming back now? Because this what? was kind of sexy in the day, but the old little Western shirts we used to wear with the snap belt is just, wow, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Those little snap buttons, you I know? Wait. The snaps. I actually, I just got a shirt like that you for Christmas. You did not. Yeah. Stop. They came back with the little snaps that just yeah. mm -hmm. pop, pop, pop. Really? Yeah, because uh, I I loathe regular buttons. I wish all my pants were snap <laughs> buttons. <laughs> Legit. Were you also a kid that loved Velcro shoes? You didn't oh, want to tie your shoelaces? Velcro. N yes. Well, yes. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Probably until about 10. But you know what? I didn't wear jeans until I was like 14. What did you wear? Sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, so I'm, a, I'm allergic to nickel. And so I would, have, I would, have, a, I would have a rash where like the 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 button where you butt button your pants that like is right so weird why am i not at all surprised though yeah. you can't nickel and dime you that i tell you 
You're the yeah. only person in the world. I have a nickel allergy. So the little button on my pants, I've just had a rash all over Yeah, well, years. no, my mom used to put me in button ups. Yeah. And then your whole chest. Like, thing. Yeah. And then I would have like rash, rash, rash. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's like your own shirt at that if point. You have, <laughs> if you have an allergy or you're you're like this with nickel, please write us write us here. I think you're the only yeah, person I've I never actually, heard that. I actually have to buy belts that are made out of a different metal. That is crazy. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll break out. Isn't that a ring. thing with jewelry too and necklaces? Yeah, yeah. It's so like I don't wear any jewelry. My my ring is a uh, uh, ceramic. Really? Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. I like and then that. I ma- I made sure that none none of the metal on my watch is nickel. You learn something every... See, you thought you were going to tune in today. We just had to find out about the oddities that continue with with Lucas. The yeah. rarities. Which actually is a really good marketing opportunity because there Here is a, a literal website f- that's called No Nickel Clothing, I think, or something like that, or No Nickel wow. Pant, uh, Belts, Interesting. which is where I buy like my belts now because I know that for sure I'm not going to break out if I use them. There must mm-hmm. be a lot of people with Oh, this. there's a lot of people with me- metal allergies. Oh, yeah. Or it was like <sighs> wool too, right? Some people can't. Wool is just oh, algae. Wool. Nobody I've, likes that. Oh. Uh, yeah. I've I don't know. Some of it can be good. You I know? have no idea. Yeah. Will it be? (laughs) 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 So, you know what, guys? The pun has just taken over our lives, hasn't it? Uh, I love a good pun. You do? You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with the pun. And you can always make them new. Yeah. And I'm a a stepdad now, so, like, it just... You are a stepdad. It's just in my my blood now. To tell dad jokes. Yeah. I love them. That are nickel-free. Yeah, nickel, yeah, nickel free dad jokes. That's terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible. I mean, I don't know. It'd be interesting to take a look at some of the companies, even that you know we're we're doing some work for. And actually, we just did it within our own company here of uh, taking care of a client. They've devised a small appliance. And when you think of small appliance and, you know, Susie Homemaker and she mm-hmm. wants to make everything perfect or now what? what's the name? You got to throw the dad in there, too. And, you know, he's in the kitchen and they're getting ready for a party and they want to use the small appliance. Why is it that we immediately think back to Leave it to Beaver or one of those, you know, the Brady mm-hmm. Bunch or one yeah. of those nostalgic home shows with the family? And and yeah. so we, we did a whole marketing piece like that. You know what's mm-hmm. funny? Uh, this just this just clicked for me. So last night we we're having dinner, mm-hmm. and Gabby, was, I, was she was talking about whenever Lena and I graduated high school or something, or you know whatever. She goes way back when you yeah, graduated. Right. Yeah, it's only <laughs> been fourteen years for me, right. which is crazy. Let's do the math real quick. <laughs> yeah, actually, sixteen years. Wow. Anyways, um, she was talking about how if she were born today she doesn't know what she would be like because she feels like whenever she was born, which was uh, 2009, there were still, there was still some sense of like that family culture of like, um, like almost like a good old days type of culture. Sure. That was still remaining. Right. Within, when all businesses with, were closed on Sunday, mom and dad, yeah, everybody went to. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so she's like, if I were born today, I would never know like what that was like. That's so true. And so I feel like a lot of this stuff that we're going back to is like, well, we want to feel like the, like almost like a good old days type of. Oh, it's so so actually out. really good. That's pretty yeah. weighty. I like yeah. that. Yeah, You're that's, taking that's really that good. to a feeling and yeah. emotion. And that's mm-hmm. huge. I mean, that's, you know, now it's, it's crazy how impactful that is because if you've been to some of the trendier hotels or whatever in larger cities and they've now developed these scents there's a oh. smell when you walk in you know why it's crazy your sense is your number one memory trigger yeah and i mean that stuff is good you know what i mean people think start about it. Yeah, a wow. mom or a grandma you can remember what they smell like oh yeah too. that's bit well but then here's my thought process on that so and both of mine. I mean, all of my relatives, you know, there were certain reasons you like to hug certain people. They people. smell bad. <laughs> I was oh, like, well, I mean, we don't talk about that. But anyway, <laughs> um, I, I never wanted to buy those perfumes, though, because right. I didn't want to, you know. Yeah, the association. Was, yeah, it was, it was kind of weird. So that would probably hurt you in that sense. But, you know, now they've come out, though, with candles and things mm. that can take you back to those certain times mm. or certain places. For and sure. you know, it's really brilliant. Oh, jeez. Or even yeah, stores, I, I, you know, well, like if you 
study clothing stores mm-hmm. will have a particular i worked at a clothing store and I, yeah at abercrombie and fitch even before it opens you're spraying Dude, the cologne everywhere yeah, mm, just so people automatically think yeah i mean i've seen um i don't know if it's like a cleaning company or a makeup company or something but they will like put like some lav like actual lavender and yes. dust it inside the box yeah they ship, really they ship to you so then yes. when you open it up it's like a whole experience of yes. you, you opening the the box up to get the product oh wow so it's little genius. thing it is genius that yeah. is interesting it really is and there's there are these um i think it's tyler company if i if i hope i'm i'm saying that correctly because we're hoping that you send us some but they <laughs> they've come up with these laundry detergents right and i mean lofty in price but my when you wash sheets in like diva for instance right you walk into a room i mean it's a game changer Mm. you know like people will just want to go in that room and then ask to stay at your house which is really weird it's like your bed smells like that and it lasts and it's 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 something you know and and it's so smart it's like Mm -hmm. first of all is it bad for us because we're sleeping and it smells so good i don't know but it stays with you and and i order that now religiously because and and i won't wash everything in it because it does cost so much but the sheets and the towels and things that you want people to go yeah Mm -hmm. man that's something right there Mm, right yeah she's a diva it's like the wood chip smell from elementary school wood chips wait what are you talking about where did you go to school (laughs) (laughs) i thought that was right but are they putting kids through the wood chipper (laughs) 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 like if a kid gets sick in class and they throw up all over the floor. The oh, did that happen a, a lot? Oh, your yeah. Is it? oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And even they use wood chips? Even when I was a teacher, they would soak I, up the it snow. took me back. I was just like, oh, no, it's that a smell. A lot of kids yeah. got, oh. Yeah. That is so weird. Yeah. No. You don't, uh, you, that wasn't around for we you? We didn't really have those, no. We, we they didn't did. get sick back then. No, right, they no. Were, they were still eating real food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was the time, though, that I truly thought the Board of Education was that long board they'd pull out and go, wow, pow The Board of Education, get it? I didn't listen. Wow. I did have to go to the principal, because we all got into a fantastic like rubber band fight You know, across the, sure. across the room. They're like, all of you, out. We went to the principal's office. Thank goodness. I was good friends with the principal's daughter. We had done sleepovers, you know, over there. And I, I mean, I thought we were we were cool. I mean, I was crying. I was in it. I was feeling it because I didn't want to meet the board of education. <laughs> and I got a little pass. You know, I got a pass. So I was pretty proud. I got really close to the board of education at one point. But wow. Did you ever get? No, they probably didn't let them do that to you kids. Like you get the spank on the hand or the no. little swan. Oh, well, we didn't have any you of that. You didn't get no. any of that. Mm-mm. Oh, mm-hmm. boy. That's when the lawsuits and stuff started, right? I I don't remember. I'm know. telling you, I'm gonna be that old person now. It's like, what's wrong with the world today? Is <laughs> she's gonna go around and pass I'm on the hand for the No, you know what? He responded so well to time out. That kid was mm. so busy. Like he was, he's just that kid. And if I sat him down and would not let him move, that was awful for him so he uh, he really responded well to time out i was happy i only like swatted his rear end one time because i, I think he bit me like on the back he came up behind me and i was like uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> just it <inadvertently>. <laughs> <laughs> was not expecting you to say <laughs> he did. i can't believe i'm sharing this so he did he came up and you know his little kids do or <laughs> thought he was playing or something and i just reacted and i swatted him on the rear end and uh oh, it's gosh. so true when they say when you when you if you have spanked your kid or whatever you really want them to cut both your hands off like you you hurt more than they do sure. right and I did I felt so badly but he never bit me again so you, you like <laughs> fake cry it worked or? yeah you just fake cry and make a big scene like no it hurt I bad? think I probably did Uh-oh. cry yeah I probably did it was it was it was really uh, bad yeah my parents they would just send me to my room which was like funny to me because I would have so you much fun in there room. I'm yeah. like okay I'm gonna read or listen to music. <laughs> okay Perfect. we we kind of got off on a tangent there but the rule of thumb is hey if you know we've always said it if it ain't broke don't fix it there are so many things that worked well back in the day i think we can improve upon some things and i know we do that in our industry there are so many always. new tools that we have now to market your business but if you find that little thing in your business yeah. or your service that you could maybe play on those emotions and those memories that's not a bad game plan at all yeah. and that's where like what we do comes in telling the story behind it yeah showing, telling a story and it's all fusing together no doubt i like it can we cut out the part about the backbiting or nope 
Okay, mm-hmm. we're leaving it in. Yep, All back right, and then, But I'm, I'm going to end it with okay. uh, Ecclesiastes 1 9. Hey. What has been uh, will be again. What has been done will be done again. There's nothing new under the sun. Oh. Okay. And now we have clarity. Finality. Boom. That's it. Thank you. Thank you guys for checking out the podcast. Thank you. We'll see you next week. <laughs>